Right, this is how I make my CBG guitar necks. I uh, start with poplar, one and a half, two actually, uh, by one, which is one and a half by three quarter. Uh, I double up the part that will be in the box, in the cigar box. Uh, I put an angle at it so it uh, has a nice transition before it goes in the box. <clears throat> and then up where the tuners go, uh, I measured out four and a half inches back, make a diagonal line from this corner to the mark, and this piece will be cut off with the bandsaw and it will be glued underneath and that will give us the, uh, the back angle on the top of the neck and the head here. And when you're done, it looks like this. Uh, so this is the two pieces laminated and it's cut out here the top is cut out so it'll be flush with the top of the box and the bottom's cut out on this one because the box is pretty thin normally I would leave that straight across it's uh, been cut and routed and sanded and here's the neck you can see where I cut at a back angle and if you look real close you can see the line where the bottom part that was on top is now uh, glued underneath so that's the back angle goes all the way up routered to smooth off and I made the holes for the tuners and what this is going to do is going to go inside there and then the bottom go on there and that will be my guitar. Uh, so the next thing we need is a pickup. This is a flat pickup that I made. Uh, it is epoxied underneath an Altoids lid. I'll solder a ground on here and that will sit right about there. We have the platform for the bridge right there. Actually, it's going to be cut off around that and from my previous video we have a, a guitar neck so this will be my next guitar and we'll go over how to build that the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this fretboard onto my neck so that will make sure that uh, my distance is set uh, when I glue the body on and take measurements on the body. So I'm just going to put some glue here, clamp it down overnight, and uh, then we'll move to the next part. Fretboard is clamped to the neck, and I have a little decoration going on the headstock that's clamped down. Fretboard is glued to the neck. I uh, added a, a little bit of decoration to the headstock. Uh, so that's done. What you want to do now is uh, I'm going to work on the placement for where I want to put my pickup. So I have the fretboard here. I have the uh, bridge. I have a, a piece of wire that uh, is soldered to the bridge so I can ground it. And I just want to make sure that the string when it's on the bottom fret here uh, does not touch the pickup okay internal bracing uh, has been cut hasn't been glued yet I'm gluing that now uh, one in the back two in the front that's going to keep this centered uh, for further measurements and uh, this has been sanded so I can glue to a good surface and I've also cut out a spot for the pickup to sit into and drilled a hole that I'm going to use uh, to guide a hole through the uh, neck as it comes through here uh, so I can ground my bridge so that wire will go down through there I also trimmed up my little support here under the bridge to go around the 
red circle there. Okay, so the bracing has sat for a while. And I'm going to take the clamps off. So we have our bracing there. And I've put one coat of clear polyacrylic on the neck, on the sides, not on, not on here. And uh, so I'm going to sand this down with some light sandpaper. Put another coat on here. Okay, so on the neck, I've gone and I've put a couple coats of polyacrylic with uh, sanding in between each coat. So it's nice and smooth. And the box has all the bracing in. It has the cutout for the flat pickup. I went ahead and drilled uh, holes for the, uh, the jack and the uh, volume pot. So it'll look like this. And now I'm going to go ahead and slip it on. It's been glued in place. Uh, I drilled a, the hole for the volume pot and it was uh, too thick to go all the way through and still be threaded. So I had to grind that down a little bit around where the pot will mount. Uh, but those are where I want them. Uh, the pickup fits good here. It's deep enough. If it was a regular pickup that was deeper uh, than the flat pickup uh, like this, uh, a regular pickup would require that the neck be cut out a little bit here. Uh, and here it would be cut down lower uh, to accommodate the regular pickup. But uh, with this, I'm good. Got to go there. And uh, the neck is attached. Looks good. Okay, so right now I'm adding some more bracing for the top and the bottom when the guitar is uh, being held so I can secure the back better. Uh, I'm also adding some bracing under the front of the pickup uh, to have more, uh, ma more material, more wood for the screws to bite into to hold it in place. Okay, so the pickup is secured with bolts now. Goes all the way through. I have the wires here and I put the bridge in goes through uh, the hole, the wire goes through the hole there. And I also went and put the tuners on, gave them a little bit of a angle just to set them off a little bit. Like that right there. And now I'm going to wire it up. And that's the finished wiring job. We got our jack, volume, ground for the bridge. We got our pickup in here with a, a ground to the cover. And the cover will go on. The back cover will go on uh, nice. And it's the front. This will twist for intonation. There we go. Now she has strings, all done, plays great, and uh, I'll give you a few licks on my homemade amp.